Hi, welcome to Strash Recap. Today, I am going to explain an American crime action film titled 21, which was released in the year 2008. Watch out and take care. Spoilers ahead. The movie begins with the introduction of Ben Campbell, who is a mathematics major at MIT. He is an exceptional student and has received admission to Harvard to pursue medicine. Unfortunately, he has no means to pay the $300,000 tuition for Harvard. Therefore, he has applied for the Robinson Scholarship, which can help him cover all academic expenses. In the following scene, Ben is interviewed by the Harvard Dean. He talks about his leadership positions in multiple clubs, flawless MCAT scores, and 4.0 GPA. Ben also mentions that he is currently collaborating with friends on a robotics project for an upcoming competition. However, the Dean responds that there are 76 other equally bright candidates, and only one will receive the scholarship. He emphasizes the tough competition, claiming that the scholarship will only go to whichever student dazzles him. Afterward, Ben arrives at a clothing store where he works as a salesman. His boss informs him that he has been promoted to assistant manager and will be getting $8 an hour. Despite this, Ben doesn't seem to be too thrilled, so his best friend, Miles, asks what happened. Ben then reveals his frustration about how he doesn't have any extraordinary stories to write in his college essay. He explains how he's studied hard his whole life for this chance, and now the only thing holding him back from his dreams is money. Later that evening, Ben and Miles head to a bar, where they meet with their other friend, Cam. The trio celebrates Ben's 21st birthday and has a fun time. They also discuss their idea of building a self-driving car to compete in the robotics competition. Days later, Ben attends an advanced mathematics class where Professor Mickey Rosa poses a challenging question to the class. While the other students are confused, Ben comes up with a very good answer. This impresses the professor and he gives him extra credit. After class, Mickey notices Ben's 97% score on his recent nonlinear equations test, which further amazes him. One evening, Ben is studying in an empty library when a student named Fisher approaches and asks to follow him. They soon arrive at a room where Mickey is sitting with three other students, named Kiana, Choi, and Jill. They are all part of a group of exceptional MIT mathematics students who are highly intelligent. Mickey then invites Ben to join the MIT Blackjack team. He explains that they have a system for winning at Blackjack through counting cards. It is the process where one adds all the cards that are dealt to know the probability of what will come next from the deck. Their group often plays in Las Vegas, using a code and rule system where each person involved has a very specific role. Mickey explains that what they do isn't illegal and they want Ben to join because he's bright and perfect for this role. However, Ben is reluctant and claims that he needs to focus on his recent job promotion and his project for the science competition. The group tries their best to convince him, but he eventually declines the offer. Before he leaves, Mickey warns him not to tell anyone about the blackjack team, or he might suffer the consequences. The next day, while Ben is working at the store, Jill stops by under the pretense of shopping. But she soon changes her demeanor and tries to convince him to join their team. She pushes him to take some chances and leave his comfort zone. This tempts Ben, especially since he has had a crush on Jill for a while. But despite this, he again refuses her offer and asks her to leave. In the evening, we see the Blackjack team practicing for their next quest. Mickey asks them a question, but none of them seem to have the right answer. Suddenly, Ben appears and gives the correct answer, impressing everyone. He then shockingly announces that he wants to join the team. The group is thrilled to have him, and they welcome him warmly. They then brief him about all aspects of their work, including signs, symbols, and counting techniques. After practicing for days, the group decides that Ben is now ready for the test run. They arrive at an underground gambling ring, where Ben sits down to play. He soon starts winning a good amount of money and feels excited. But just then, some thugs cover his face with a bag and drag him to a room. Ben begins to panic, claiming he hasn't done anything wrong. However, his bag is soon removed, revealing that the thugs are actually his team members. They just wanted to see how he performs under pressure. The group then informs him that he has passed, and they will all be leaving for Las Vegas together. The next day, the team heads to Las Vegas, where Mickey assigns new identities to each member. He also instructs Ben to act as if he is unfamiliar with the other team members. Afterward, Ben enters the casino and confidently places a $10,000 bet. Thanks to his skills and training, he doubles the money and continues winning. The others soon call it a night and head to their rooms, but Ben stays at the table and ends up earning a substantial profit. The next morning, Jill wakes up Ben and hands him his share of the profits. She praises his work and mentions that he earned more than Fisher. In response, Ben reveals that he's only doing this to pay his Harvard fees and once he earns enough, he will quit. However, Jill laughs and remarks that everyone says the same thing. Upon returning to his dorm room, 
Ben counts the money he made and hides it in his ceiling tiles. Just then, Miles and Cam show up and ask him where he was all weekend. Ben simply lies that he went to meet his relatives and forgot to take his phone. In the evening, he goes to a bar with his friends and they spot Jill there. His friends give him some confidence, so he goes up to her and offers her a drink. Later, while Ben and Jill are on the train, he tries to kiss her, but she pulls away. Ben feels bad and apologizes, but she explains that she doesn't want to complicate their professional relationship. Over the next several weekends, the team continues flying to Las Vegas. They win lots of money using their mathematical tricks and teamwork. Unfortunately, this raises suspicion among the casino officials, who believe that the group is cheating. Therefore, the head of security, Cole Williams, starts paying close attention to Ben. Meanwhile, Ben and Jill continue to grow closer day by day. He also keeps earning a lot of cash, but this starts making Fisher jealous. One night, a drunk Fisher sits at the same table as Ben and starts talking as if they know each other, breaking their rule. He then spills his drink on the table and wets other players, which results in a serious fight. Fortunately, Ben and his group manage to escape, while the other players are apprehended by the police. Following the incident, Mickey expels Fisher from the team for his incompetence and lack of self-control. That night, Ben hangs out with Jill at a hotel nightclub, and afterward, they go to a luxury suite and end up making love. As time passes, Ben's commitment to the blackjack team leads him to lose interest in his studies and neglect his friendships. This problem becomes apparent when Ben returns to MIT and accidentally gives Miles and Cam the wrong microchip for their robotics project. His friends are understandably upset with his behavior and decide to exclude him from the project. Ben is devastated, but he acts tough and claims he never cared about the project in the first place. During the next trip to Vegas, he is too distracted and fails to leave the table when signaled, leading to a loss of $200,000. That night, Mickey is furious and expels Ben from the team for not following the established protocol. He also demands full reimbursement for the money lost due to his lack of attention. Afterward, Ben suggests to his three remaining companions that they bet the rest of their money to recover what they lost. He argues that they don't even need Mickey, who never takes any real risks and just gathers 50% of their winnings. He suggests forming their own team from now on. The group is a bit skeptical but they eventually agree upon his continuous persistence. They then head to a casino, where they start winning and slowly begin to recover the lost money. However, their success is short-lived as they are approached by Cole, who is tipped off by Mickey. Cole immediately captures Ben, while the rest of the members manage to escape the scene. In the next scene, Ben is taken to a secret room, where Cole and his partner begin to severely beat him. He claims that their days are coming to an end because the casinos will soon have facial recognition features. He also reveals his own personal history with Mickey, who was once a successful card counter. It turns out that Mickey got Cole fired after winning over a million dollars in one night at his casino. After a lot of beatings, they eventually release Ben with a stern warning not to come back again. The next day, Ben returns to the university and learns that Mickey has failed him in his course, meaning he won't graduate from MIT. He then returns to his dorm room, which has been completely trashed. To his horror, he discovers that all of his blackjack winnings hidden in the ceiling have been stolen. He realizes it is Mickey's doing but cannot prove anything and feels helpless. Later, Ben visits Jill at her house and confesses that he has lost everything, his old friends, his aspiration to Harvard, and his money. He admits that he does not want to lose her and apologizes for his mistakes. Despite everything that has happened, Jill forgives him and consoles him in her apartment. Days later, Ben attends the MIT science competition and sees Miles and Cam's project announced as the winner. The two of them secure a prestigious academic scholarship in robotics as an award. Following the event, Ben meets with Miles to apologize for abandoning and ignoring them in the middle of the project. He also confesses everything about his experience in Las Vegas. Miles accepts his friend's apology and assures him that he and Cam will always stand by him. He also mentions that he is truly impressed by Ben's adventures in Las Vegas. Later, Ben meets with Mickey at an alumni gala event and offers him an apology for what happened. He admits that he wants to return to the team and proposes a deal to recover the money he lost. Ben suggests playing for one last time before the facial recognition system is implemented in all the Las Vegas casinos. He also pleads with Mickey to recover his academic grades in exchange for the money. The cunning professor is tempted by the large amount of cash, so he accepts the offer. Now that they have a new plan, the group assembles again and heads to Las Vegas. During the game, they manage to win a sum of $640,000. However, their luck runs out when they see Cole and several of his men approaching to catch them. The group quickly flees with the casino chips, and an intense chase ensues. In the midst of this, Mickey advises Ben and Jill to give him the chip bag so he can keep it secure. The latter two are hesitant but they eventually oblige. 
Following this, Mickey enters a limousine parked in the hotel parking lot and instructs the driver to take him to the airport. It turns out that the entire scheme was Mickey's ploy to betray his team and take all the money for himself. He then begins to celebrate his success but soon discovers that his bag is filled with chocolate chips instead of casino chips. To make matters worse, he realizes that the limousine driver is actually one of Cole's men. In a flashback, we see that the last time Cole was beating up Ben, the latter promised him that he would personally bring Mickey to them. In exchange for his help, Cole would remove Ben's and his team's images from the database. This will allow them to play freely in the casino rooms and collect their winnings without being detected. In the present, Jill and Ben meet with Cole in the parking lot, where he congratulates them for their great job and for helping him catch Mickey. The duo then attempts to leave, but Cole stops them and demands the winnings from the day. Ben refuses, as it was not part of their agreement, but Cole pulls out a gun and explains that he's nearing retirement and needs it. He believes Ben is intelligent enough to find another way to make money. Our hero definitely doesn't want to give away all his winnings, but he doesn't want to lose his life as well. Therefore, he quietly hands over the bag and leaves with Jill. Minutes later, Mickey is taken to the same room where Ben was previously held captive. Cole and his partner appear and welcome him, as they have been eager to see him for a long time. Mickey quickly tries to negotiate and offers them money. However, Cole responds that he doesn't want his money, as he has already achieved his goal with Ben's help. In the next scene, the Blackjack team reunites and meets with Miles and Cam in a casino room. It turns out that, like Ben, his best friends are also skilled in mathematics. He has invited them to visit the casino and try their luck at the gaming tables. The group teams up to play together and eventually ends up earning a lot of winnings. Sometime later, the new facial recognition software is implemented in all Las Vegas casinos. Cole and his group are thus removed from their jobs as casino security guards. In the final scene, Ben narrates this entire experience to the Harvard Dean and asks if his story is dazzling enough. The Dean's jaw literally drops to the floor as the movie comes to an end. This is my explanation for the film, 21. So what do you guys think about the movie? Write in the comment. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.